Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Butterfly Effect Podcast playing Life is Strange. I'm Liam and today we are going to be playing the third one. I think it's called Chaos Theory. It's crazy how a game just with this art and this soundtrack could create a whole universe that's just so memorable. Oh, I'm looking after Kate's bunny. That's sweet. I forgot about that. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Well, the first thing I want to do is pet the bunny. Feed it. Yeah, let's do it. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Surely that's illegal to, like, name her, data protection and all that, because when an incident like this happens, don't they, like, keep them unnamed? Isn't that the homeless girl outside the diner? If so, that would be a cool easter egg. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. I don't know, does Kate look happy there? I'm looking for an action figure and then a squirrel. Oh, we go in horror. Oh, that, that's sad. Let's read the slate though. So much hypocrite. I'd be fuming. Like, we had an incident like that at school and it's just the same thing happens. The people who cause it are instantly on the defence and, you know, give support even though they're the one that forced them in that situation. Oh, Dana. She's up. Let's speak to her. She's one of my favourite side characters. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Kate was serious. But it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? Does this have something to do with why you got suspended yesterday? Tell me the truth. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Okay, right, let's... Ugh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. I'm going through her shit. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Oh, that's not fun. Well, let's peek into Victoria's room because we know she's not here. I just find it a baffling how people can leave their doors unlocked like that. When I was in the dorm, mine was constantly locked, so no one could get in. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Oh, that's the action figure. How do I view it? I want to get a photo of you. Oh, what? Now I... That was weird. Nice. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. How do I get a photo of you? Oh. Oh my god, did it get jump scared by me? Sorry, I'm taking pictures of squirrels. Done. Look at the lens and say no. My best friend has abandonment issues, you know how it goes. Principal Wells. Are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Do I rewind time to a point he's back inside the house? I know I have a set of keys on me. Max the ninja strikes again. Ah, gotcha. Now from memory, don't I see like Victoria? Booyah! Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. I'm more like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? Thank you again so much. 
so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favorites or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. That's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. I like how dark and somber this episode feels already. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? We can't charge us for just entering. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit. Like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking. Thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me, and thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Let's see if I can find those items. Okay, let's get a, a can. Release the crack can. It's all mine anyway. Got my can of Pacific Punch. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Uh, shall we? Yeah, fuck it. What have we got you today's? way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. It's probably gonna, like, mess something up, but oh well. I kind of want to see what happens, because I don't think I did it in my original playthrough. Ooh, sugar. Yeah, let's blind the fish. Good evening, fish fish. Okay, now let's turn that off. Please resume your slumber. Because I'm considerate. One more ingredient left. Hey. The tape is mine. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! That was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Hang on. Oh, I the wrong door. Give her the jump scare of her life. Bullshit. Fucking door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly-ass desk. Oh, there we go. Photo. Chloe, say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. 
I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Not really well hidden, is it? Like, not even in the drill. Just like, if you're stood there in a meeting like here, you could see that above. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. That's what daddy's money will do. Damn, Max is literally like just over a month older than me. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. I don't know, man. That is... Right, okay, so it's for the handicapped. However, I don't know that Mr. Wells will actually use it on that. However, I think there's a different way we can get Frank to pay, so I, I'm going to say leave. It is for the handicapped. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. <laughs> but yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. I forgot about the swimming pool scene. I really like this one. Boys or girls? Now, when I played the original, I rewinded time to see what they've had. Let's go, girls. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I remember we used to break into a uh, pool after midnight. I shouldn't say this, I'm going to get right. But it was back in the day. And I used to love going for a night swim. None of the people would be there. The water would still be warm. You'd have the moonlight shining on it. It would just make the most, like, aesthetic, pleasing pool ever. Where does that other sock go? Me. I eat them. Oh, okay. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. It's so cool that they just give us these locations and then you unlock it here, I think. Like, yeah, we got the pool now. There's still loads of locations to unlock. It's just, uh, I love it. I really miss this game. And it just sucks because... 
in my opinion, this is Life is Strange to me. The games are just like a shadow of what they used to be. And I know that's the same for anything good, but I just miss Life is Strange. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I don't remember doing this. Yeah, go on, let's have fun. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. Oh, for just one picture of their faces when they see my name. I love it. To be honest, like, I'm playing this game a little more chaotic than I usually would just because, like, why not, you know? There we go. Alright, this is where we get that really cringy cowabunga line. Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's Revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and two. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Ah, uh, stealth puzzle. Are you shitting me? Dude, hide! Like when we were kids. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I guess the easy thing to do would be to rewind time, but I kind of want to try this myself. Oh, hey, Chloe. Shit! Chloe's hiding there. Oh, now I have to find another spot. Uh, this is weirdly tense. I kind of like it. Where's he gone? Oh, shit. Is there a guard out here? We are so invisible. I was going to say, came, someone came through that door. I thought there was a second guard though, because one came around the front and one came around the back, so. Wait! Turn around! They're coming! We have to find another way out! <laughs> it's the worst guard ever, man. This is bullshit! You can't go back to your dorm now, you're a Blackwell fugitive! Crash at my place tonight! You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay! Yes, we so are. He could have just like seen the van though and been like, yep, that's my stepdaughter's van. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb! Photo hog. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. 
I love that how people can just change. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. Oh yeah, and this is where we dress like Rachel. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Oh, I mean, <laughs> here's the thing. A lot of people might hate me for this. I shit Chloe more with Rachel than Max before the storm really does it for me. But I'm a guy. I like punk girls. We're going to kiss Chloe. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh, I really like that outfit. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. Ooh, a photo. So the bird keeps dying, and it's almost like a full shadow, right, isn't it? I love that shadow effect, man. That's so cool. You know, I haven't gone through a dying my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. I snapped out of mine. I kind of miss it, though. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. I'm just going to say it. These three photos alone would beat the crap that was entered for the Everyday Heroes contest. Like, literally just snagged that off the wall there. And boom, I'm, I've won. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Uh, free breakfast. No one told me that I'd have to work for this. Uh, e no, I'm okay. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. That's cool. That's such a good shot. Oh, hello. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. Oh, cool. And, and I could have killed it if I didn't open that. Sick. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Oh, I don't know, I love crunchy peanut butter. Seeing you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Oh, it's from the DLC. He took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In, in fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. 
and everything. She's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Oh yeah, this is where oh, I have to find his password. password. Completely wrong. Let's go personal. I've not tried that. Worst hacker ever. Done. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. Must be nice to be suspended and have some free time off Blackwell. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? I mean, I'm siding with Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Right, I know. Yeah, I can get a photo of that. Hey, no photo, girl. Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo. Time is money for a guy like me. Oh, oh yeah, that sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? 
I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Oh yeah, and then... Actually... How the hell did... My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those... you know who know what. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Oh shit. Oh, okay. So ominous. Here we go, guys. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I really want to talk to you. You don't want a plate, mate. Why is he eating off a napkin? Same for every... Do they not have plates in this fucking... They're back there. Mate, what are you doing? Jace... Joyce gives you plates. Here he is. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit now that you've been suspended? Thanks for trying to get me in trouble, you tweet bitch. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Awesome. Let's do this in front of a cop. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. <coughs> okay, maybe I need more info from the cop. You act so scary, but... You did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. To who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. 
Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Okay. Now you back off. Are you shitting me? Alyssa, watch out. Quick thinking, Max. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Well, parking lot, I'm not killing the dog. I'm pretty sure the dog can get run over. Get the treat, treat, boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. Does look like a pretty sick RV, to be fair. The guy's eating beans when he's got perfectly good pizza here. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Let's try this one. My blade will open any portal. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! God, man is not getting through them beans. Chloe. You can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price. You better take that back. Right now. Okay. Fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. But look at everything that's happened the past week. Your life has changed mine, and that's not shit. I'd really love to believe that. I'd like to believe in something after what's happened. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. God, man, I feel for her. I know it's like her words are like really irrational, but like, 
You gotta fail. Oh my god. What is happening now? Use the AD keys and left mouse right button until you find the sweet spot. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey, you look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe, give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William can't is can't here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us Am I Who that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crap. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. I feel it's so sad because, that. like. But also, I really like the effect, the fact that William's back. Chloe's voice is the same but different, they look younger. It's just such a neat touch, you know. Hello? What a mess we made. Hey, honey. I remember so those cool drawings I did with Chloe. We're all going to work at the two wins. What? Oh, well, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. I have to hide them from him, don't I? Aha. You can't hide from me forever. Okay, well they're gonna be mine. Work at the two way. Score! You pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. You can't hit me in the feels like that game. Right, okay. Three? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. I know I had those keys right here, I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and enjoys and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Oh, this effect is so cool.
It's crazy what impact loss can have, right? Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So I know. Sorry, Mad Isn't Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? No, in Do you want to go hit the girl's California potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Oh no. This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Oh, and now David's a bus driver who never met Joyce. Or at least met, but never did anything. You know, they never hooked up. Uh, this is crazy. And weirdly, in my opinion, quite a controversial ending. But I'll explain why when we get there. Oh, this is Mogwai. Good band. And the house finally got painted. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Now, the reason I say that could be a controversial ending is because you're taking away one tragedy for another, right? Now, I get that. However, are they also insinuating that um, Chloe being rendered, you know, in a wheelchair, disabled, equal to death? Now, I don't know, maybe I've read that wrong, but... But either way, really strong ending. I remember when I first played it, I was quite like, oh, wow, that's just like... I've completely altered the future and I wanted to get back on the normal timeline and you know I was really worried waiting for the next episode and I played this episodically where you had to wait months for the next one to come out so I was sat there for two or three months or whatever it was just like really anxious like what that cliffhanger brought and don't get me wrong every episode was the same but let's see my choices so I left the money 
Oh, quite an even split. A lot of people took the money. Now, I get it. You'd want Frank off your back, but... I don't know. I went for the moral choice. I kissed Chloe. The same as me and 78% of thirsty players. I sided with Chloe. Another 78%. That's interesting how they're the same. It would be interesting to see what happens if you side with David, but I didn't want to do that. Oh, yeah. 95%. 5% did. So, yeah, you can get the dog hurt. And Frank ends up with the gun. So... Okay, Chloe has David's gun. Oh, I could have found that, but I didn't. Okay, that's interesting. That would be interesting to see how that affects the game. So yeah, Lisa's alive. Ah, oh, only 42% players. I mean, I was in the 58, but like I say, I've done my choices differently to my blind playthrough. I helped Warren, I mean, I'm in the minority there. I changed myself to go on the Vortex Pie Club list. Um, I erased some names. That'll be interesting. I can't remember how that affects the game. Um, I didn't erase the cop's message. Oh, I missed that one. Shoot. Okay, I mean, I'm in the majority there, but be interested to see what happens there. Save the lesser as always. I warned the homeless woman. Okay, not a lot of people did that. That's interesting. Took a photo in the past. You didn't leave a mark on the phone. Oh, I did that in my blind playthrough. I totally forgot I could do that. Interesting. Okay, well, I mean, that's, that's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly am really enjoying playing these games again. Um, let me know what you thought of the episode, guys. Uh, tell me what choices you made. Maybe they were different to mine, maybe they were the same. Maybe I did some things wrong, just let me know. Um, but it's been a pleasure uh, filming this with you guys. Thank you very much for joining me on Life is Strange Chaos Theory, and I'll see you all in the next one.